How's it going, folks? This is your old pals Demo and Zoner. And today we are back in Monitor Valley. It was a gorgeous day at a spot that not that many people know about. This is called, depends on who you talk to, it's called either uh, Diana's Punch Bowl or Devil's Cauldron. Basically, what you're standing on, or what we're standing on, is a travertine, a travertine dome. And below me, it's about 600 feet by 30 feet, is a nice little hot spring. Oh yeah, 200 degrees, baby. Estimated about 200 degrees, so. And this is, basically, this is a small little fault line. That's how this was created. Heck yeah. But yeah, if you're, uh, I was telling Zahn, if you're not careful, when you're driving down the main road, the road comes right up to where you're at. You drive right off of this, yep. and there. right into there, and, and as, you'll sink down. Nobody knows how deep it is. Uh, uh, nobody will ever know what happened to you, and you will be a uh, a boiled dummy. Yeah, so it's about it's about 50 feet 50 feet across and about 30 feet deep. Yeah. The whole base of the hill is about it's about 600 feet. It's 600 feet of travertine. What you're standing on. And you can see the eagles' nests. Yes. There's a there are several stories you can hear about Diana's Punch Bowl. It depends on which one you want to believe and who you want to believe. But the story I got wasn't from the internet. It was actually from, what are those, what are those people called? A person, life, life people. <laughs> so, I mean, they could have been pulling my chain too. It's hard to tell. But the story, the story goes there was Native Americans, uh, a brave and a squaw, or man, woman, whatever, however you want to phrase it, say it, he was lowering her down to grab some eagle eggs for either a meal or something. As he, he was dangling her down by the feet to get the eggs, the, the moisture coming up made her legs wet and she slid out from his hands down into the water. He jumped down there to get her and they both died. So the rumor or the, the myth goes when you come up here and you see an eagle feather floating, it's supposed to be a good sign. That means they're their spirits are here. That's a cool story anyway. So, my story predates the internet, so. <laughs> like I said, it could, be, it could be total BS, I don't know. I'm gonna go over and check out the other side real quick. Yeah, let's go ahead and take a gander here. We're gonna try this. We're gonna try this again, folks. Has gone. <laughs> yeah, she's gone. That's deep. Back to the hot spring from whence it came. All right. All right. Now we got some more hot springs. This is where Demo camped out here a while back. Yes, sir. This is this is what they call Spencer Hot Springs. And that water is... It's, a, it's, about, it's about a 102. It is nice. Yes, yeah, 100, 102. Nice soaking. That's nice. Plus we find another little friend, a little more wildlife. Not so wild, though. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I said it's... And then we got that. Be, uh, be a little cautious if you come out here because you might see things that don't need to be seen and things that you're kind of glad you did see. Yeah, I guess it just all depends, huh? Yeah. That's where the spring's coming from, right in there. It's pouring out. If I'm not mistaken, coming out, this this is more of a cooling pool right here. This would be like 80, 80 or 90. Yeah, no, that's cold. That's like... Is that all mud on the bottom? Yeah, it's all mud, mud bottom. Mud bottom. Probably fairly healthy for you. This? I'll bet your joints there he is. How you doing, poppers? How you doing, Popper? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the water, yeah, the water coming out of the, the main main spring right here, the wellhead, that's about 1, 140, 1, 134, 140. 
That's hot. And you can see it, you can see it bubbling right there at my feet. Yep. And the well casing. But yeah. Bubblicious. Yeah, so if you're if you're into hot springs, this is this is a must. I must see. That's a second hot spring for the day. Yep. Well, except this one, if you go in, it won't kill you. Yeah. It's it's uh, it actually has a, a a soothing effect, not a yep. killing effect. I say it's about it's about three feet deep in there, so. Well, I wish I'd brought some spare clothes. And I wish we had the time. Yeah, I wish we don't, so. All right. Let's future endeavors right here. Future <laughs> Let's endeavors. move along, brother. All right, let's go get something to eat. Hell yeah. All right, folks, out. And we got ourselves a little more wildlife here. Look at that. <laughs> a little baby. I think it's a gardener snake. Gar I don't know about gardener. Gopher, maybe, right? Yeah, gopher. You tell by his nose if you look at the nose if it's flat it's going to be a rattlesnake if it's pointed like a shovel it's going to be a garden gopher snake shane can tell yeah. you tell us shane what is that shane what is it cool though looks like a worm to me <laughs> <laughs> yes sir And we have yet more wildlife for you. Look at that. Oh, that's a couple of burros standing there looking at us. Hi, Mr. Burrow. Which one's the smart ass? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mr. Burrow. Mrs. Burrow. Milton Burrow. Milton Burrow. <laughs> you guys be good. We'll catch you later. Peace out, baby. We love you. All right, Mr. Zahner, you said you had a joke for us? I do. It's my famous Halloween joke. What do we got here? What did the ghost say to the bee? What did the ghost say to the bee? I don't know. What did he say? Booby. Boobies. Booby. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> All right. That's enough. <laughs> All right, folks. Well, we made it to the top of Tacoma Pass. And what you see to my... Uh, my left, Zahner's right, is the Tacoma Cave. Uh, the BL or Forest Service put this, uh, erected this gate, or this cage, to keep people from uh, graffitiing and uh, stealing, trying to you know, take artifacts or whatever, kind of preserve our past. <clears throat> but a lot of these uh, petroglyphs, no one really knows what they mean. Uh, abstract art or a vision. They might have come up here, didn't you know, take their hits of peyote or their medicine or whatever and yeah, some of the stuff looks pretty crazy yeah but as as of now as as we stand here there's not that many i don't think there's anyone that really knows we can all assume and assess and make come to our own conclusions right it's like the the white dots you see there i would assume that would be because they used to do a lot of game hunting up in this area that could be either a rabbit or a antelope deer marks basically showing that they're they're a hunt or they came up here to hunt and they found tracks and, and proof they were here type thing. But I mean, it's, it's all open for interpretation, how you think about it, how you see it. It's a trip though. And on, on the back side of this mountain, this because this, this is basically a big basalt, basalt rock outcropping. On the back side is a Hickison Summit. And Hickison Summit, it's documented that uh, the natives used that summit as a, a choke point for uh, wild game, deer, antelope. So they basically chase them up the hill into a choke point and they'd have their meals, which just happens to be on the other side of this basalt outcropping. Yeah, some of these are really trippy. Yeah. They'll have the ancient alien crowd going nutty. <laughs> Look at that yeah. one. It could be. <laughs> that's it. Could, could be aliens. Could be just drug-induced hallucinations it could be it could be anything no it's, one no one knows yeah it's then you can see all the all the uh, soot on the ceiling yeah. that's probably from thousands of years well that was the other reason why with the, the forest, fires that's the other reason for the forest service put this this cage up is because people were going there 
building fires and covering it with the set, covering up the, the petroglyphs. So, so thoughtful. Yeah. So, I mean, at least this cage keeps you out, but at least it keeps our history preserved. Yeah. Very cool. People. I think. And, like Demo said, it's up to interpretation because nobody really knows. Mm -hmm. The people who drew these took the meanings to the grave with them. So whatever you think, leave comments. Tell us what you think this stuff might be. It could be, a, it could be an Adelaide. Adelaide? Ad 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 yeah. Could be one in there somewhere. Oh. So many. Which means it, it, it kind of dates this to over 2,000 years. At least. Yeah. I think it, it's, it's probably 25 to 35, if I'm not mistaken. I might be wrong. All right. Well. We had a heck of a day today. Yes, sir, we have. I mean, look at this. Look at this view. And listen, listen, listen to the, listen to the automob automobiles you hear, the jets, the cars. You don't hear nothing out here. Nothing. It's just beautiful. The wind, an occasional bird, yep. a scampering lizard. Scampering. Hmm. That's about it. Yeah. So. I guess we're going to go ahead and uh, call this one the end of the day. Head into Austin to get something to eat. Sounds like, sounds like a plan, brother. So, you know, this has uh, been Demo and Zoner saying, Don't let your meatloaf. Thanks a lot, folks. Bye. Bye-bye.